plotting the cases and deaths on two separate subgraphs allows us to see the details because the scales that are used spread the data out considerably in the vertical axis. However, it doesn't really give us a good feel for how these two graphs are relative to each other. If we wanted to do that, it would be better to plot them both on a single set of axes. I can do that by applying the plot method to a single subplot object. I'm going to create a figure with one subplot and then perform the plot method on that one subplot. That's different from here where I applied the plot method to two different subplots. It's now clear to see that the deaths are occurring at a much lower level than the cases. Another way to display these data would be to use a different plot type. Instead of using the plot method, I can use the bar method. And when I construct the plot in this way, the bars for deaths are placed on top of the bars for cases and it's perhaps a little easier to see the relationship between the two. You should note that this is not a stacked bar chart. Both of the bars for deaths and cases begin at the x-axis. In the case of a stacked bar chart, the bottom of the cases bar would begin at the top of the deaths bar.